Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can build a little video library using Wix CMS and rich content, just like this one inside of Wix Studio. So this is my video library that I built pretty quickly. I have a uh, homepage here and then a button that takes me into the video library. And then I have a few options to choose which video that I want to view. And if I click into this video here, then I have a dynamic page where I have my video title, I have the video itself, and then a video description. And then I have a little button that takes me back to the video library. So it's really simple. It's just setting up, setting up a few dynamic pages and making sure that everything is linked up correctly and then making sure that my content is all good to go. So let me show you how I created this inside of Wix Studio. So over here on the left-hand side, you have the CMS section, and this is where you can create collections that have dynamic content. So if you don't have this turned on already, you have to go over here to the left-hand side, click this button and enable CMS, and then you can add collections inside of here. And as you can see, this collection right here, this video library has three items, just like the items that you see here. So I'm gonna go, uh, go ahead and open this collection to show you what's going on. So I really only have two fields in here. I have the video title field and then the rich content field. And the rich content field is what's powering the section with the video itself and then the text. And the cool thing about rich content is it can really be anything you want. You can add videos, images, text, you can format it. You have all these formatting options up here at the top. And there's all these other things you can add down here at the bottom. So it's really great. You can add really robust content sections and you can make each section unique to each item. And this is a good way to get rid, get around the uh, conditional fields because conditional fields doesn't exist inside of Wix studio cms just yet so this is a good way to get around it and make sure that each item has unique content so if we look at this one here then we pull up in a different one in this rich content field you can see that this one's formatted a bit different it has the video there's some spacing in here and i have an image so it can be unique however uh, it can be unique item by item so let me show you how I built this and um, we're going to build another version of it just really quickly. So you go to the CMS and the first thing you need to do is create a collection here. So I'm going to click create a collection and I'm going to select start from scratch and then I'm going to hit the next button and I'm going to name my collection. So I'm going to call this video library two. video library two. And I want the multiple item collection selected here because I'm gonna have multiple items in this collection. So I'm gonna click create, and then I have to add the field. So all I did to get my collection to look that way is I just went in here to the title field and I edited this field and called it the video title. And then I have my rich content field. So when I click on this add field button here, here's where I get all the different field types inside of my collection and I can scroll down here and you can see that there are quite a few options. So these are the essential ones. These are the main ones that you probably will use, but there's other ones that you can use down here. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use the rich content because that allows me to add a variety of content in one field. So things like videos, images, files, it can be um, quotes, it can be a lot of different things. So I'm gonna click this field, I'm gonna click choose field type, and I'm just gonna name this rich content because that helps me know that this is the rich content field. So I'm gonna click save, and as of right now, I have no items inside of my, my collection. So I need to create an item. So I'm gonna click add item, and then here's where I would add the video title and the rich content. So I'm actually just gonna grab a video title here from my YouTube channel since we're building a, uh, a video library. So I'm just going to post the title in this first field and then for the second field I'm actually going to share this video here, um, get this shareable link and then just embed this video into the rich content field. So again as I'm opening this up you have all the formatting options up here. You have all these other options down here where you can add different things in. 
So I'm gonna start with the add video and I'm going to embed it because it's coming from YouTube. So I'm just gonna paste my link in here, click embed video, and then my video shows up. And then if I want to add a description down here, I can do that, I can just type the description. So I can say the description goes here, or I can copy it from YouTube and paste it directly into the rich content field. So I'm gonna go in here and grab all this and just grab this text and I'm going to paste it into this field here. So I just pasted it in and it came in from YouTube directly and now I have a nice looking section here. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and then it saved my item information here. So then I would just do this for the remaining videos. I would go into my new video here and grab one more. Let's just do one more. Um, so I'll grab this Wix Studio dynamic list pages and dynamic item pages. So I'm gonna copy this one, the video title into here. And then again, I'm gonna go back and get the shareable video link and put my video in and then add it to my rich content. So I'm gonna add the video and I'm just gonna click here and then click video and then I'm going to embed it from YouTube and here's my video and then I just have to copy and paste this information over from Wix or over from YouTube to Wix Studio. So I'm just gonna grab this text here, copy it and then I will paste it into my rich content field. Now, like I showed in the original example, you can add other sections here. So if I wanted to add an image, I'm just hitting enter and giving myself some more space here. I'm gonna add an image. And I'm just gonna type in web design and I'm going to add an image here and I'm gonna click update. And then I've added an image in this field, but that doesn't exist in the other rich content field. So it makes this one unique. I'm gonna add one more image. I'm just gonna type in Wix here and see what we get. Sure, let's do this image here and just put it in just for fun. So this is our section for this one and it's different than this section here. Okay, so I have two items in here. I think this is enough to get started building out our video library. And so I'm gonna go in and create a video library similar to this one. So now that I'm on the page, the first thing that I need to do is I need to go into the pages and menu and I need to add a new page and I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I select the dynamic page type because this is going to be a page that displays dynamic data. So I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna choose my collection and I'm gonna choose video number two. So I select that as my collection here and I'm gonna start with this item page and I'm gonna click add to site and it's going to go in and create these dynamic pages. So one thing that's really cool is it gives you this kind of template layout and you can use that if you want to. It also gives you this drop down so you can preview what these pages look like item by item. So I'm actually gonna remove all of this cause I don't really need these sections here. So I'm just gonna go to my layers tab. I'm gonna get rid of this section grid and just start from scratch. So I'm gonna add a new section. Here's my section. I'm just gonna quick add a title cause I want my video title here. I'm gonna design my text for it to be a heading one because this is gonna be the page uh, page title. And then I need to connect this now to my CMS collection, my data set. So all I have to do to do that is just click on the element, click this connect to CMS, and you can see it has this video library two item data set, but the text is not connected to anything right now. So I need to select a field for it to connect to. So I'm gonna select a video title and then it should populate dynamically here and sure enough it did. And if I wanna preview it, I can check this other page and look, it pulled in the other page title as well. So that's working. So now I just need to design this section a little bit. All I did in the other example was just stretch this out a bit and then gave my section some padding. So I just changed this to percentage over here. I wanna do 6% padding on the top and bottom on and on the sides, so on all the sides. And I'm just gonna shrink my section a little bit so the text fits a bit better, and now I have my title section. And then the next thing I need to do is create the section for the rich content. So I just added a new section here. And then in order to do this, you have to go over to the CMS, 
and then you have to click add content elements. So this one is a little bit weird, but this is how you would add the rich content element. And once you click that, then you have this rich content down here. And so I'm gonna select the rich content and now I have my rich content box coming up. So now I need to connect this to my, my section, but first I'm gonna give my section a little bit of padding. So I'm gonna change this to percentages as well. And I'm just gonna give myself the same padding as on the top section, so 6%. Okay, so now I'm going to connect this to my data set. And it's the same way that we did before. We just, collect, we just click this connector element. We choose the data set, the video library item two. And then we're going to connect the content to rich content. And as soon as I do that, this should pop up for you um, if you don't see anything in here in your preview, one thing you could do is check the settings and you might have to do trim versus show to get it to show. That's worked for me before. But as you can see here, this one is showing up for me right away, which is nice. Um, one thing I always recommend doing is going in and editing this layout and giving this a little bit of padding. So I'm just going to give probably 20 pixels here, just to give this a little bit of padding inside my rich content. I could give the top some too, but I think the top's okay. So then this acts like a regular element on the page and I can get it to align to center. I could stretch it if I want to, to stretch to the full width of the page. Um, and now that I stretch it, I actually see that I do want a little bit of padding on the top and bottom. So I'm going to give it just a little bit here, probably 20 as well. And then that should give us a little space down here towards the bottom. Now you could give it more than that if you want. Maybe you want 32 pixels on everything. And so that gives it even more space. Okay, so now I've got my basic page layout. And if I change this to see the other page, the coolest thing about this is it just populates dynamically. So, you know, here's the one where we added the images to it. So I'm just previewing this other item page here and we have our title, which populated dynamically. We have the rich content section, which updated to the particular item. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. And then I just need to, to create the list page. As you can see with our other example, if you click this video library, this is the list page that jumps us into the title pages or the item pages. And so we need to create that for our, our new, new collection. So I'm going to go to this item page again. So here we are, what we just created, and I'm going to go to pages and menu, and I'm going to add a new dynamic page. And this is going to be the list page. So video library two, we go to list page and then add to site. And it's going to create a page that lists all the items in my collection. And right now there are only two items in my collection. So that's what it's going to list. And it already gave me the title here. And then there's a button and it kind of gave me a title here. So I can format this. I can align this to the center and align my text to center and change the text if I want to. Um, but here's where I'm really going to focus my efforts. So all I did for the other one is I just added a shape to my uh, my repeater so that it had that icon and I just called this video and I pulled in this play button video icon and then I resized it down to about 48 pixels and I added it to this stack and then I aligned the items in my stack here and then shrunk down my my repeater items so it had a bit better spacing and then I changed the background of my item to be gray so that these stood out a little bit. I mean you could get it to be any color you want here. I think this gray does enough. So then the next thing I did after that was change these buttons to view now. So that's what the text says and right now these buttons aren't linked to anything. So um, I'm also going to set my pixels between items here to 16 and then make sure my stack is centered. There we go, that's better. So this button right now doesn't link to anything, even though it, it is a button, so you have to dynamically connect it to the item page. So I'm clicking on the button, I'm clicking the connector tool here, and then I'm going to the click action. So I want the click action to be set to the video library to item. 
And so once I set that, these will now go into the correct page when I click on those buttons. If you don't set the click action, they won't be functional. And then the other thing I did here was I added a button up here and made that link to the video library. So we can do that too. We can add that to our header and just link this to the video library to list. And so that link is set. Now I just need to change this to video library two. And maybe I'll change the color so that this button stands out a bit more. And so we know which one is which. And I'll try to space these out a little bit too. Get my menu element here, shrink that down. Okay, so we've got video library one, video library two. Okay, and then the last step is now that I have this list page created, all I did here on the item page was add one more section to the bottom and I made this section, the section that takes us back to the list from the item page. And I just added a shape here and I changed this shape to a hamburger menu. See if we can get this to come up for us. And I just pulled in a hamburger menu, something like this. And I believe I changed this to blue on the design and then changed my section here to a black section and gave my section some padding. And then I shrunk this down. And this became the way to get back. And I think I made this a bit bigger as well. So it's just easy to find 120 pixels. It could be bigger or smaller. And then I just, I didn't actually connect this dynamically. I just linked this element back to the list page and then clicked done. So let's go in and check both of these out. This one obviously isn't as designed as the other one, but let's just try it. So I'm gonna to go to preview and I'm going to click on the first video library. So this takes us into the first video library we looked at at the beginning. This takes us back to that video library. Um, let's go to the video library two. So now that I've clicked on this button, we have our two items here and these should take us into the video library two page where we can see everything and this should take us back to the video two library list. So, that's how you build the rich content section from scratch. And like I mentioned, um, you can have different things in different, different ones. So I intentionally had these ones have different formatting. So you can see that this one's formatted different versus this one that has a heading up here with a video and then not very good formatting down here. And then this one has the video with an image. Um, and that's how you can create, uh, unique sections with the rich content section on each dynamic page, each dynamic item page. So um, there's other things you can do with rich content and uh, Wix CMS. It can become really powerful as you understand collections and creating dynamic content and everything. Um, but I did a tutorial a little bit ago on rich content and want to do it to do another one and just show you how to set up these uh, list pages these list pages and item pages and connect certain elements like the like the buttons that take you in using the click action and then actually setting up the rich content section on, on those pages. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.